when is there a hard boss in this game? Well, there are hard bosses, so stay tuned. You haven't seen the hard stuff yet. Alright, so uh, Haunted Shipwreck. This level uh, can be a pain, so we'll see what happens from here. Uh, I would like to get onto the so Ew! Hey, 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 hey. That's, uh, that's not nice. That is not nice. Alright, we're gonna head up here. And, gra and grab this, uh, Super Crown. Alright. And then, uh, over here, you grab on this. You get yourself a, uh... Okay, I didn't get it, but there's a Lunar Moon right there. You want to, uh, grab yourselves three more s special lives. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and head up here if I can. Oh my god, if I don't get myself uh, uh, hit by those uh, flying blocks, that'd be great. That'd be greatly appreciated. Okay, and then over here is a lot of blue rings, so we gotta be a little careful. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. Gotta be careful here. Uh, those, uh, those, uh, fish bones right there, they will come at you if they see you. Uh, like, like that! Those two saw me! They were, they were, they were chasing after me. Uh, but thankfully, uh, thankfully they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't come homing in at you for a very long time. Which is nice. Okay, so, uh, keep your eyes peeled for this room. This room is very confusing. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Nothing up there, okay. Um, there's a little uh, power up block down over here. I believe that's that's just a nice bar, I believe. So, uh, oh, okay, here we go. Okay, head up here. Um, and there's a door up here. That's where we got our secret exit. This secret exit is pretty hard to find, uh, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I've always found the secret exit to be hard to find. Um, but I always get confused because a lot of the stuff in, the, in that in that area gets uh, just looks very similar. So it's uh, very tough to know when to jump up. Uh, but thankfully we found it with no difficulties. Um, and uh, yeah. And if you're wondering where this um, secret exit will take you, well, it's just like where any other secret exit will take you. It's a long path all the way to that uh, beanstalk right there. Well, it looks like a beanstalk. Uh, is it actually a beanstalk? Well, we, we won't find out until uh, we actually start doing that level, which uh, won't be, uh, not yet, because we're not interested in that right now. Not interested at all. All right, uh, so, uh, me, uh, oh, okay, all right, well, there's a reason why we say that uh, we don't get power blocks right away. Uh, that is, uh, for uh, this purpose. I mean, that's a big door, by the way. Uh, that door that, that you just saw right there briefly, that uh, takes you nowhere. Um, it's, uh, it's Pekor. Uh, that's a common theme in these ghost houses right here. Uh, well, in ghost levels. In ghost levels, there, there's, it's a common theme where, uh, see a door? You probably don't want to go in it because, uh, it's either fake or the door, or the doors will take you to a wrong direction. In that case, uh, that door that you saw earlier, it's, a, it's fake. Fake, fake, fake. Oh! 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 I need to... Oh! Oh! Okay! Okay, we're through. Oh my god! There's so many, uh, uh, fish bones coming after me. I just have to pass all those uh, blue rings. All right, now we're back to where we left off. Uh, and um, let's see. Uh, we just gotta go straight on forward. And uh, there's a block right here. That is uh, it's a fire flower. Okay, we don't. We're not interested in that. We're not interested in no fire flower. All right, head up here. Um, the door on the bottom is fake. Don't go in that door. That 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 boo's trying to deceive you. Don't 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 let your uh, don't 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 get fooled by that. If you get fooled, then, uh, you're a fool yourself. Um, uh, that's all I have to say about that. Alright, and we're through that good old level. Yay! I did it! I did it! Alright. So now we have a long pathway opened up. So there's a uh, there's two levels opened up this time. There's a uh, there's baby Yoshi, which you can get, but um, I'm not gonna grab the baby Yoshi because uh, um, I don't need it. 
Uh, but we're gonna go down here 3-4. 3-3 is on the top. We're gonna do 3-4 first. And I have a very particular reason why I'm doing that, so, um... Uh, do not worry. Um, we don't need that. Okay. Uh, so, um, I actually have to lose my, uh, crown, uh, soon. Soon enough. Um, and, uh, the reason is because this block right here contains a mini mushroom! So, it's our, uh, well, it's back. Uh, it's not our first introduction because we just had a mini mushroom earlier. Um, you need the mini mushroom in order to get up, up to that mini pipe. Uh, and the uh, mini pipe is going to take you in here, and so you're gonna get, get, get your second star coin. And now, now you have to do the rest of the level as mini. Um, and it's very dangerous. Um, oh! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is my first death, and that is unfortunate. So, um, when you die, obviously you uh, have to start the level all over again. Uh, there, uh, unless you hit a checkpoint. Uh, which in this case, I did not hit a checkpoint, uh, so, um, which means that because I was kind of far into the level, I'm gonna be dead. Okay, so I got this, I got that star coin that I got earlier before I died, um, and now we're back. Man, see, I knew I was gonna die at some point, but I didn't think I was gonna die, like, right there, um, uh, but, uh, that's okay, um, no big, no big deal, alright? That's our, uh, they're bound to happen anyway, so, uh, can't always, can't always have a, can't always be a perfect. You can't always be deathless in uh, all your video games. Just because you're good at a video game doesn't mean you're always deathless. You know, because deathless deaths are bound to happen, especially uh, in a game like this where it's uh, uh, kind of long in a way. Um, the speed run for this game is about like three and a half hours if you're good. Um, well, that's in the original Super Mario speed speedrun. Um, you can beat this game in about, uh, three, in about three and a half hours, uh, in the original version. Uh, but, uh, that's the, that's the original version. It's, uh, gonna be a little bit longer because, uh, we don't have, uh, we don't have the good old stuff like, uh, sweet loading times. Because loading times are just, uh, uh, bonkers. They're, uh, yeah, they're, it's a bunch of mayonnaise. On the loading times, because I believe they just spilled mayonnaise on the load screens every single time. Nah, just kidding. They didn't spill. They didn't spill any mayonnaise. No mayonnaise was spilled in the making of this game. I promise you that. Uh, but thankfully, that wasn't a big deal uh, for dying there. Uh, if it was, uh, if it was, uh, if it occurred some somewhere else, then uh, that would have been bad. Uh, but now I'm going to actually head on back uh, and actually do a secret level. And again, this looks weird, but it makes sense later on. Um, so now we're gonna actually do uh, the secret level right here. Skyward Stock, not Skyward Sword, um, because Skyward Sword is. Uh, non-existent um no it it it, it there is it, it, it there is an existence to skyward sword uh, but the actual skyward sword i don't know because uh that's uh that's not a game that i play someone else plays that game not me although uh people want me to play that but, uh, uh, i don't have it so i'm sorry but uh but, uh, ask me to play games that I actually have, and then I'll uh, consider it. Uh, anyway, uh, this level is, um, you're climbing the beanstalk. It's like Jack in the beanstalk, beanstalk you know? Um, and normally in this level there's, like, a lot of super acorns because there's a lot of water wings. Whenever you see water wings, it probably means you're gonna be seeing a lot. I mean, th that probably means there's a lot of super acorns. Uh, but, uh, um... Obviously, since this, since we are playing as Toadette, we don't get to see uh, super. A we don't get to see super acorns. Uh, at least, uh, uh, at least not a whole lot. I mean, there are super acorns, but, but you don't see super acorns a whole lot because uh, uh, there's not really much. The, the game really wants you to, to utilize this uh, super crown, this uh, good old super crown. It's actually it's a nice power up. You know, I actually like I like this power up. It's really cool. Alright, we got all three star coins. The star coins aren't that hard to get, because they're just- you will easily see- <gasps> Oh my god, I thought I was dead. That was bad. Alright, can I get up there? I can get up there, cool. Okay, you just have to climb up to the top. Um, you can't just like climb up to the top and memorize your, your way, because um, there are invisible barriers that are preventing you from doing so. Um, it's just uh, the boundaries of the screen that uh, kind of limit you to do that. 
It's very common for most auto scrollers in uh, video games in general. All right, and um, with that, uh, this actually takes you not to World 5. You know, there are two ways to get to World 5. As you can see, World 5 is unlocked right up there. Um, oh, spoilers, I'm not supposed to say that. Sorry. Uh, but uh, that actually takes us to uh, World 6. Um, again, spoilers, I'm not supposed to say that, but uh, that's where it takes you. Again, we're not going there. We're not interested in going to uh, a different world. At least not right now. So now we're actually going to go to the top. Uh, you can, there, if you run to those uh, cheap cheeps right there, they're gonna fight you, um, and you don't want to fight them because cheap cheeps are suck. Um, there's a reason why they're called cheap cheeps. They're they're cheap cheeps because they are cheap cheap. Get it? Alright, uh, this level contains Yoshi, um, and uh, Yoshi's important, um, except not. Um, well, actually, yeah, he's, uh, he, he makes he makes this level a lot easier. Um, if you have a super crown like I do, uh, then uh, he, then uh, Yoshi's an option. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna take Yoshi with us because it's a it's a let's play and also because we can play safe because uh, because I just died in the second this episode and uh, I don't feel like dying again. Um, and this level is actually pretty dangerous without Yoshi. Um, these cheap cheeps are pretty random. Well, as far as I know, uh, I haven't studied this level, level well enough. I, knew, I usually study these levels, but uh, I, don't, I don't study uh, levels in this game well enough to know that it's not random right uh, enough. But uh, there's a star point right there. Um, there's a green ring challenge. One, two. Uh, green rings have a short time limit. Then uh, red rings, as you see right there, uh, that, that the game didn't give you much time to uh, give, give you that a third ring. But that's okay. Man, these cheap teams are aggressive. Holy crap. Oh my god. Uh, that was bad. Um, okay, well. Oh, jeez. Okay, 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 chill. Let's let's uh let's shout here. Let's uh, make let's make some friends with these uh with these guys here. Okay, okay, well, 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 that, well that was bad. Alright, alright, how am I gonna do this? Oh! Oh man, that 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 guy was that guy was a bad boy. That guy was a bad boy. I I, I can't believe that. Holy crap. Alright, so I uh, hit this padlock right here. We gotta get the start real quick. This is gonna fall down. Okay, good, we got it. Oh man, that uh, that uh, a, lo a lot of stuff would have happened there. Can, can y'all just don't understand? Y'all just don't understand the the, pain the painfulness of cheap cheeps. Holy crap! I can't I can't believe that. Okay, there we go. All right, we're through we're through that ridiculously painful level. Yay! I did it. Uh, no deaths. Um. I'm really making my I'm really making fun of myself for that one death, am I? Alright, so now we're we're off to uh, this level right here. So this is uh 3-5. Uh Dragon Yell's Undersea Grotto. And um in uh, the original game, this level was a ridiculous pain, but uh, if you're playing as uh, Toadette, man, this level is easy. Um, and the reason I say that this level is easy is because, uh, uh, so there's a, a dragon eel chasing us. You, you can't see it, but uh, there, is some, there is an enemy called a dragon eel that's chasing after us. And um, that, that dragon eel is fast, uh, but uh, thankfully, uh, since uh, we can swim fast, we can outspeed that guy and not to worry about this guy's nonsense. Okay, I don't know. I don't know where he is right now, but uh, I, but uh, man, are we actually not going to see him at all? If so, that's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, but uh, screw that red point challenge. I don't have time for that. Ryan, we're gonna go inside this pipe over here. All right, so uh, you're wrong. You're actually going to see what it actually looks like. Uh, yeah, it's 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 those guys. But those, but uh, the but the one that's actually trying to chase us is is not blue like those guys. Um, oh, oh, it's it's right there. That it's that is that guy. It's that guy. Oh god. Oh god. No, no. Oh, oh okay. You know what? Screw it. Let's use our iframes. Good. Okay. Yeah, that's the guy that was chase that was trying to chase after us. Holy crap. Um. Okay. So um. Wow. Um. I did not know. I did not know what to do there, and that sucked. Um. Yeah. You, that's the guy. That's the guy that you want to avoid. Otherwise, uh, he's gonna cause you a lot of problems. Um, and if you have the fire flower, you can actually make him go fast, but, um, I did not have the fire flower, so I could not make him go fast at all, which sucks. 
And hey, it was that it. Okay, so this is actually the reason why my my why I went to 3 4 then go to secret exit, and go to secret level, and then do all those levels up on the top. And uh, that and that's actually so I can um, and that's actually because uh, I knew Nabbit spawns in 3 4 and Nabbit takes like three levels for him to spawn at a level that he appears in. Um, so um, by uh, by doing whatever I whatever the heck I just did. Um, you don't have to do a lot of backtracking, um, because if you're just doing the natural route and you spawn Nabbit, then you have to, yeah, then, uh, backtracking sucks because more, more, more than likely you're probably going to be at the level by the time it spawns, and, uh, it's, it is a pain. Alright, so I use a star right here because, to catch Nabbit, or at least this Nabbit, because, um, um, this whole level is a pain to catch him at, so I use the star to make my life a lot easier. Otherwise, uh, you'd be, you'd be going through a lot of urchins, and uh, urchins are mean. They're meanie heads. Oh. All right. So now it's time to do uh, the castle. Now so we're going to finish. We're about to finish this world pretty soon, which is nice. All right. And uh, this level. Oh man, we're gonna get a. We're gonna have a. Oh, what the heck? That's. Uh, I disagree with that. Now we gotta go. Now we gotta somehow um, go through some of the stuff right here and up here. Grab that star point, and you can actually walk through up through, through that top top part. I don't know if y'all know that. I didn't know that. All right, now we have this uh, little water section right here, and uh, we have uh, little torpedoes. These uh, these are uh, torpedo tents from Super Mario World, um, and uh, these enemies are not fun. Uh, at least back in uh, uh, New Super Mario or Super Mario World, they were not, they were not fun in Super Mario World. Uh, they're not that fun in, in this game either. Uh, I, have to swim, I have to swim at the rate of, of, that they are going in, in the water. Uh, that's bad. Uh, there's a pipe up there. Uh, the pipe up there doesn't really contain stuff, useful stuff. Uh, we're actually going to uh, grab this uh, grab these red coins here. Ah! Oh man, we're uh, kind of things slow. But thankfully, uh, Toadette's swimming is amazing, so uh, we can uh, outspeed these guys. Otherwise, uh, this part right here is slow. It's slow as heck. Heck! Lots of heck here. And that's gonna give us nice. another ice flower. I don't care. There's a lot of flamethrowers. Oh! Okay, good. We went. We got past the flamethrowers. That's good. And now we're at the boss. So we're going to uh, take on the boss right now. And who's the boss? It is uh, uh, Larry Koopa. We're gonna fight Larry. Larry, Larry. I don't know where I got that from. Um, I feel like I pick up all my bad habits from Vinny and Angelo. Like all the time that I've hung out with them. And my bad habits are picking in from them. I think. No, that's not true. All right, Larry Koopa. What the heck? I disagree with that. No, no, no. I disagree with what just happened there, but uh, basically Larry Koopa's the same, as long as it's fine the same, like that, and there we go. Except that, except that hits that I just took. Uh, that's, uh, no, ignore, ignore that hit. That hits, uh, is not what you're supposed to do, but that's the general idea that you're supposed to fight him. And there we go. So we are done with World 3, and that is good. We're doing a pretty good job with uh, with these uh, parts right here. So with that, that's 100% World 3. Awesome. Ah, right, we're not done yet because uh, we're gonna head on. Uh, we're gonna head on to uh, World 5. Um, yeah. And oh my God, we got a twist. What's this? An intermission in a 2D Mario game? What is this nonsense? 
2D Mario games don't have intermissions usually. Oh, I just realized I got 99 lives. I did not know that. Why didn't you guys remind me that I had 99 lives? I would have celebrated. I would have celebrated uh, with something if I had 99 lives. But no, no none of y'all, none of y'all reminded me. I'm just kidding. Uh, this is not even a live stream, so y'all can't even remind me live that I have 99 lives. Um, well, who can remind me? Our guest commentators, but I don't have any guest commentators. What the heck? Alright, uh, you can get infinite lives from uh, those cannons right there, but um, no thank you. Um, we already have 99 lives, so it's pointless to, to do it. Um, that's your first starving right there. Um, and then we have a cool uh, red coin challenge over here. One, two, three, four, five, now six, seven, and eight. Give me, that, give me my crown back. So, um, I just want to let you guys know that this is the coolest level in the entire game. Um, and, uh, that's because there's a lot of these cannons right here. So there are Mega Koopas. Uh, all these cannons right here. All these cannons, you can't even defeat a single princess. Well, Toadette's not a princess, but Peachette's a princess! You can't defeat a single princess with, uh, with all these cannons that you have. And then I'm about to go inside this pipe right here. We're going to go under underwater to the water airship, I guess. And look at this, we got homing torpedoes! All this right here, you can't even defeat a single princess! Pathetic! Absolutely pathetic! Come on, come on, the Bowser, or no, it's like the Bowser even operates this. Oh, gosh. Um, so, uh, oh, oh, okay, uh, so, yeah, you, you, normally you're supposed to use these, uh, homing torpedoes to, uh, grab that star coin, or you don't have to do that. Oh, my God, let me get through that. Um, by the way, I, I, uh, I guess it's worth mentioning, this is, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure anybody who's ever figured this out would know this, uh, but, um, uh, you can actually, uh, if you get stuck, oh my god, okay, if you get stuck, uh, you know, at a wall or something like that, and you're on the left side of the screen, and, uh, the left side of the screen, and you get, st and you get stuck, the left side of the screen just kills you because it's an auto-scroller, you know, you're, you're supposed to catch up with the screen. Stay on the right. No, you don't want to stay on the right, because, uh, if someone comes at you, you have no time to react. Alright, so, uh, so we just went through the best level, now we're gonna put the best boss. Uh, this is Bowser Jr., um, and, uh, basically, he tries to shoot a torpedo in his head at you. It's a homing torpedo, uh, but, uh, homing torpedoes, uh, obviously try to homing at you. You just, uh, you wanna stand, you wanna always swim behind him, um, and, uh, try to bait the, try to get the, uh, homing torpedoes to, uh, home in at Bowser Jr. So, uh, just like this, just watch this. Jabated! It's not jabated. It's not jabated. Okay. And, um, yeah, so we had to do this for a while. It's kind of boring. I am, uh... I gotta repeat this phase once again, and there we go. <laughs> All right, we did it. Man, you just got wrecked by a miniature version of Princess Peach. I wonder. I, I wonder if that's something. Something that's supposed to be uh, that about or something. I don't know, but uh. He tries to kick us out, but we leave before he do, he does, and yeah. So there we go. We defeated we defeated Bowser Jr. once. Normally, uh, in um back in uh, New Super Mario Bros, you fought Bowser Jr. Like times, and uh, this time we fought we fought him once, and there we go. And with that, that takes us to World Five officially. So um. Uh, we are not going to be taking on World 5 now, because uh, that is going to be it for this episode of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. So next time, we'll be taking on World 5, and it is known as Soda Jungle. So, see you guys next time. Goodbye!